Hello and welcome to Period Talk with um, Florence Iweaka. I'm super excited to have you with me here today. Um, on this platform, I talk about periods and all things periods. And this is because um, period is an integral, a very important part of a girl or a woman's life. Most girls and women will experience periods in their lifetime. But it's a topic that is shrouded in secrecy as though it was a taboo. And it is not. It's actually a very important part of the reproductive system. So we're going to be talking, we're going to be learning about periods on this platform. We're going to be talking about how to manage your period symptoms. We're going to be talking a whole lot about a whole lot of things. Um, before I go on, if you want to join me, you, you can, you can subscribe to my channel on YouTube. It's Florence Iboyaka, or you can follow us on Instagram at Trisha Woman, or you can follow us on Facebook on Trisha Woman as well. <laughs> so one more time, welcome to my channel. Welcome to this platform. Today, I'm going to start from the very beginning. Why do we get periods? Or some people will say, what are periods, especially for young girls who are coming to their periods for the first time or who haven't even started. So I'll be sharing with us why we have periods today and what's having your periods or menstruation, as is otherwise called, what it means and all of that stuff today. Stay tuned as I take you through the process. Welcome once again. So, um, why do we get periods? <laughs> which is otherwise known as menstruation. So periods are one of the physical changes that happens in the body as a result of the hormonal changes that happen during puberty. Now, puberty is that time when young girls um, grow from that stage to become adolescents. During puberty, the hormonal changes trigger some physical and emotional changes in young girls. Some of the physical changes is that breasts begin to develop <laughs> and then hair begins to grow uh, on the underarms. You have hair growing in the pubic area and um, some girls break out, you begin to have acne, pimples and those are some of the changes that come with puberty. Another change that happens during this period is that girls begin to experience vaginal discharge in their underpants. Um, this is really nothing to worry about. It's absolutely normal and nothing wrong with it. This discharge comes in sometimes almost like a whitish color. Um, I would recommend you use panty liners at this point. Um, carers and mothers just to help the girls have panty liners to use during this period. This only tells you that your period is around the corner. So <laughs> it's really nothing to be worried about. So yes, girls experience vaginal discharge just prior to when they get their first period. It's kind of preparing them for that time. And it's absolutely normal, like I have said. I think it's important to also mention some of the emotional changes that happen during puberty because of the hormonal changes going on in a girl's body. One of such changes is that girls begin to have mood swings. Sometimes you find that you're crying. You don't even know why you're crying. And um, girls begin to feel more um, romantic. <laughs> um, girls find that um, they want to watch more, they want to see romantic movies or read romantic novels. And, you know, some of the hormonal changes are emotional, others are physical. So girls also find that they want to look trendy. That is when the girl is looking in the mirror and trying to make sure her hair looks nice, her dress looks nice. All those are changes that happens because of the hormonal changes in the body for young girls. Um, I mentioned at the beginning of this podcast that um, periods are part of the reproductive system <laughs> and um, I'll also be talking about that but I think I'll leave that for our next podcast. So um, I've started to do the introduction about why we have periods, why periods or menstruation. So um, 
just stay tuned with us and like I mentioned at the beginning you can subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Florence Iboyaka or you can follow us on Instagram on Trisha Woman uh, on Facebook on Trisha Woman to keep up with um, what I'll be sharing regarding periods, the talk about periods and all things period, like I said. Um, already people are sending me messages on Facebook asking me to share on some other topic. Just stay with us. I'll come to them. I will actually address all those areas that you've mentioned. But I thought to start from the very beginning. <laughs> and especially because I'm, I'm aware that there are different people on this platform who want to learn, who want to know things happening, especially young girls. So I'll be sharing more around all those areas that have been mentioned, challenges during periods. I'll get to those. Just bear with me. And um, there's something else I want to share with you, which I think you'll find valuable. And that is that um, we have an app. It's called Trisha Period Tracker. If you go to Google Play, you can download the app and the app will help you track your periods. And it will also help you monitor your ovulation. <laughs> I know that's very interesting because um, it, it gives you, it, it kind of reminds you about your periods, when to expect your periods and all that kind of stuff. So do go to Google Play today and download the app. It's Trisha app. T-R-I-C-A, sorry, T-R-I-C-I-A period tracker. So you can go to Google Play and download it today. Thank you very much for being on this platform with me today. Thank you for listening. Thank you. And I hope you learned something valuable or something you can share with somebody else. It was really nice having you. Stay tuned for the next podcast. Thank you very much. Ciao.